Hi there, how you doing? Buy me a second. <laughs> Standard greeting for all these. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to see if I can see the, all the pictures of my children behind me. Hi, how you doing there? Uh, I'll leave camera two off for the moment because the battery is very low in there. Okay, talky, talky, talky. Lyrics pinned up, yes. Can I read them? No. Doesn't help. There's something on the news just now. I mean, this is not really the time or the place to be saying it. Um, and, and ladies, forgive this joke in advance, but I mean, it was a sad news story. Uh, but it said the guy they were talking about on the news, and they said he'd been committed to um, a mental health facility earlier in the summer for hearing voices. I mean, there's nothing inherently funny about that. But when I heard that, I thought, I could just see me in that situation, like, you know, some psychiatrist sitting there, you know, or something else, oh, tell me, Paul, uh, do you ever hear voices? Why, yes, I do. You do? Oh, yeah, just last night, I heard your wife saying, oh, yes, Paul, oh, yes, Paul, oh, yeah, yeah. You can see where I'm going. <laughs> I died losing it down a bit. Because <laughs> it carried on, and then it got a whole lot naughtier. But anyway, a little levity there. We live in some hideous times of the moment. Last night I caught a version of Menelaus in Paris. This is the vagaries of technology. Let me move away from the microphone a second. I've got a stand. There's a gap, you see. So, oh, that's the wrong way. So it goes my son, my daughter. That's going backwards in case you want to remember. And me, and another picture of my children. I forgot this one up. This one keeps falling down as well. So I'm singing to the best audience in the world, you know. My beautiful children. And because I'm going to do Men Lies in Paris, a picture of probably the love of my life. Certainly the woman I should have married. Which one? You know that in hindsight, yeah? Where was I going with this? Yeah, so I cut a version of Men Lies in Paris last night. Uh, which is the first time I'd sung that song, and I don't know how long. It's getting, whenever I do a version of it, it gets... Jeez, I've got no arms left at all now, have I? Sorry. Um, I get some nice feedback and everything. It seems to touch a lot of people. So I guess that we've all been in love with someone who was in love with someone else at some point in our lives. Anyway, in the room, it sounded pretty good, if you'll take my word for it. And I thought I had the plectrum action going, and when I played the videos back today, ready to send them off to someone to upload them somewhere down the line. Awful sound, awful sound. The mix was just so bad. The guitar sounded like it was made out of metal. Not out of water. I don't know why it goes like that sometimes. So I'm going to try another version tonight. And I'm going to finger pick it this time. I'm just going to turn the other camera on now. In case you're wondering where I'm going. Did you miss me? <laughs> what I should have done then. Sorry, it's won't mean anything to you. I'm in a silly mood. But I said I'm just going to go turn the other camera on. What I should have done was I should have been go on and stay out of sight for five minutes, you know, and then come back on and say, you know, <laughs> the camera's outside, you know, down the road somewhere, you know. <laughs> By camera, I meant Hubble telescope. I need the Hubble telescope, actually, if I'm going to... Well, that does not help at all, but I, as long as I can see the first word of each line, you know, then it comes back to me. So, hello, camera two. So, anyway, tonight I'm standing a bit closer to the microphone. Which might be the problem, actually. Maybe I had the gain up too much on that. I don't know. But I just want to try it anyway. It's a song I never tire of playing, even though I never played it for well, 10 years, I guess, at some point. I'd love you to tell you the story about who I wrote this about and what happened when we were gone out. <laughs> I like, what makes you think that I'm one of the three people in the song? You know? And if I am, you don't know which one I am. Maybe I'm the woman in that, you know? Maybe it's not a bad woman at all. 
maybe it's three men. Who knows? Uh, well, I know, obviously. But when you write a song, and when you put it out there, you know, you write it... You write it in your own shadow, and then you put it out into other people's sunlight. And that's what songs are for. They're for the listener, not the writer. No matter what the songwriter will tell you. Or has the ego to think. I mean, I didn't believe that, you know, for the first 30 years I was doing this. Hey, shall I just get on with it? <laughs> um, two, three, nineteen. I just remembered I didn't set the vocal level. Okay, Menelaus and Paris. One, two, three, and four. Tonight won't give me any answers. She won't tell me why you saved me just to let me die again. I've been stonewalled and incriminated, heaven bound and intimidated. Somewhere I can hear the mission bell chime. Somewhere there's just one more mountain to climb. Mm -hmm. The diary, but the entry. 
trees linger on How is grid locked on the highway you need? Kill me now, but don't leave me to bleed Somewhere we can find what's never been lost Somehow we'll make that one last leap across Cities burn, but love always survives When there's nowhere left to run to You just lie down where you are I was one day your eternity When the choice came, you chose liberty And somehow I got left behind at the start Somehow I never made Still lives inside my dreams. A home on each moment, precious, cause they're all that's left me now. It was heartbreak and humiliation, lead to rest amidst condemnation. Somewhere there's a shooting star come to ground. Somewhere in the night, hope still gets found. A warning sign flashing, creating danger ahead. But if I were to turn my back on you, I might as well be dead. I've been waiting in line for you to decide. Is there something more to see? Is there something else to hide? There's an end to each beginning in the search for identity. And we both share the same identity Save it, came the words from broken lips I heard you speak of reasons But never of justification it was barefoot and it was incandescent in the past, waiting for the present. Sometimes I get through, but I just fall back. Sometimes all I need is something you lack. Remorse lights a torch time can't extinguish. I don't know how it started. Snow pure and you were dignified, icicle calm and volcano eyed. Somehow I got both of our signals crossed. Somehow you drew clear but I paid the cost. Ancient rules of conformity fill. I walk to the rainbow's end just to find. I was slandered and devastated, lied to and implicated. Sometimes you have to lose more than you ever had. Sometimes all the good won't outweigh the bad. There's a threshold of pain that no man should endure. Like a junkie in the gutter, I'm crying, I've got to have more. I've called through bleak winters to stand near to you. I shouldn't have made love to you, but what else could I do? There's a reason that we met here, and it's more than destiny. And we both know you can't fight destiny. doesn't count too much with you. You walk away so easily. 
with your air of sweet disdain. I was last in and first discarded, and now I know why you kept your scars hid someplace in the sun. The killing rose blooms. Someplace in your heart there's a nail, a room. Inside your walls are soft and safe and warm. The savage past lies down to sleep, spent and defeated. Was I outside of your jurisdiction, non-conforming to your restrictions? Somehow I got on the wrong side of your road. Somehow I drowned while white water flowed. Secrets of the soul now stand revealed. I could not have called the truth that any more than I could turn the tide. Oh, the night was down, the streets were deserted. Believe the lie, the truth's been perverted. Somewhere I know we can live it again. Somewhere in your life you'll feel the same. I saw something in your smile that was sacred and gold. The tragedy is, there's so much more that'll never get to be told. Does he fall at your feet and swear that he repents? See it through his eyes, you'll see it's all pretense. There's a marriage dirge playing and it's saying, come to me. It will always urge you to come to me. Oh, that came out okay. Menelaus and Paris, the only time I ever did that song to my satisfaction is the studio recording, which was, uh, I, uh, I got it down in one take. That's the last song on the Maybe Tomorrow, Maybe Next Year album. And the album was written in secret, so I had the first song, maybe more, maybe next year. And then the 11 songs on the album I wrote in that order. And uh, I think it took me four days to write the 11 songs. I'm so sorry, my jaw muscles are gone. And then I wrote Menelaus in Paris. And then I started the recording sessions. Sounds like I just got in on that camera there before the file chain is over. And uh, I laid it down. I, I, you always want to say it was like midnight or 2 a.m., but it was pretty late at night. It was about 11 o'clock I started at the recording studio upstairs. And I'd stopped playing live then and was just making CDs and albums and selling songs to local songwriters. And, uh, and I got the, um, got the guitar down, and then I put bass on it, and then I overdubbed electric arpeggios on it. And I'd done the vocal live at the same time, and there was just a feeling that um, it's the same every time I play it, as I get towards the end of the song, you know. I'm kind of like, you probably noticed then I speed it up a little bit, but that version I actually kept the tempo almost on. And I was thinking, and I knew the words then, you know, in those days I could write a song and the words would be instantly printed on my brain. If you'll forgive me, I'm just about to cough. <coughs> See, I tell you no lies. And um, I remember getting to the end. Um, half of your 
brain is trying to concentrate on the lyrics and the other half is interrupting you. Say, Don't mess it up, this is going well, you know. I never had that too much in the studio. Normally I just went in and did them and stuff, you know, blasted them down. And uh, try not to think about it. Uh, and then I did the electric arpeggios on the top of it. And it's recorded on a four track task app on a cassette. So I had uh, one track was the guitar, the acoustic, one track was the vocal, and the third track was an external mic that was mixing the two in the third track. So that just left me with a one track to overdub the. So I had those playing back, and I'm overdubbing the arpeggios on, and bouncing it down to the fourth track to make an instant mix recording. And I was thinking, there's no way back. And uh, also, this probably doesn't mean anything to you. I'm just, it's just come to me that I'm just having a fond memory moment. And I was, uh, I was trying not to do it, but the harps and everything, and listening to it, picking it out trying to follow my dodgy tempo but I was using the arpeggios as accentuation I mean if you hear the studio version it's up on YouTube it's a very poor recording because I can't upload the music live I'm too early to the master tapes now and uh, and then the last note faded away you know uh, just as that please come to me comes in on the end and man like I'd run a marathon. It's like my army days when you got to the end of a route march, you know, and you just done 16 miles and you had to fire off, you know, your, your magazine or the target and everything. And you just wanted to squeeze it. You couldn't wait for the target to come up the last time so you could fire the last bullet and collapse, you know, in a heap. And I was like that. You know. Anyway, so that's a recording session for that song, Man Lance in Paris, but that's the only time I ever sang that song. Properly. I did take it out and play it live a few times, but you know, it's a long song, and that's uh, just on its own without all this chatty, chatty, chatty stuff. Um, and I've been chasing that version ever since. Normally, it goes the other way. Normally, my studio recordings are terrible because I don't have the patience uh, to overdub my own material. I would always just rather cut a new one, you know, because I was always a live musician, not a studio musician. And so normally it went the other way, you know. And my studio recordings of the songs wouldn't be that good, but when I took them out live, you know, they came, they came to life there. I guess I've taken up enough of your time chatting away that much. You've been extraordinarily wonderful company, and I'm very grateful to you. Wherever you're in the world, I hope it's very safe there. And I hope people be nice to you, and I hope you'll be nice to other people as well. It's a wonderful world if we're all just nice to each other and look after ourselves and the planet. It would all work so easily if we tried, you know. Uh, the heart and the head. I'm getting into Fritz Lang Metropolis here now, aren't I? Uh, you know, they can take us down the side roads of, of righteousness sometimes. And sometimes, speaking of side roads, my neighbours can drive down them very fast at nine o'clock at night. And it's just a one-track country lane I live there. God bless you all. Or whoever you believe in that you need to be believed in by. Believe in your children. <laughs> and you know what, man? Those long-time viewers know that time wear leg braces and I have very little leg left. Sorry to end on a downer. That was close.